1192, the Knights of the West waged the Third Crusade against the armies of the East. King Richard the Lionhearted defeated his rival, the great Sultan Saladin, and captured the city of Acre. When Saladin failed to pay a ransom demanded by the Crusaders, Richard heeded the counsel of one of his trusted advisors and had 3,000 prisoners put to death. But this traitorous advisor had tricked Richard into completing an ancient ritual, the disjunction, a catastrophe that caused demons, monsters and spirits to spill across the land like a black tide. Faced with this grave threat, Richard and Saladin joined forces and fought side by side to save humanity, fearlessly engaging the creatures and driving them back, at last sealing the rift caused by the disjunction. Although Lionheart and Saladin were victorious, magic and terrible creatures had escaped into the world, changing the lands forever. Centuries passed, and humanity struggled to deal with the many changes wrought by the disjunction. Magic mingled with the bloodlines of humankind. Spirits joined with people, granting magical power to some and bringing misery to others. Many cities were raised in countless conflicts against the evil forces that escaped during the cataclysm. Brave crusaders honored the legacy of Lionheart and fought this evil across Europe and Asia. The Knights Templar of the West and the Order of Saladin in the East waged war against the forces of darkness, while the Inquisition sought to rebuild civilization and purge all those possessed with diabolic magic. Today, in 1588, these valiant orders have brought a degree of security and peace to a chaotic world. But I am haunted by a disturbing vision. Dark schemes threaten to break a fragile peace. While the betrayer seeks an age once lost, a new war will be waged in the West and East, its outcome hanging on a coin just tossed. But before the spinning coin can land, it will be caught by the slaver's hand. My sword is my sword. 